celebrities, they be wilding out. <laughs> <laughs> but our topic of the day today, though, is maybe he's just not that into you. Now, this mm -hmm. is a viewer request. So we do take viewer requests, people. Like I said, drop us some ideas. If you definitely have something personal that you want to hear us talk about, and don't be afraid. It's going to be anonymous. We're not going to you know, put you out there. And we're not going to even tell the entire story. We're just going to bring a topic about it and kind of give you some tips with your sleep. You know, if you're listening to it, if you're in the audience, I know who you are. I'm going to see you saying hey in a minute. But <laughs> if you want us to talk about anything, you got to just let us know. Hit us up on any platform, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere. Mm -hmm. So where, where? You, we got, you know, I like, yeah, Lush Buzz. I love it too. That's, that's, that's Me unique too. to us. Unique to us. So, you know, we just had to come up with that. But maybe he's just not that into you. So this goes to you women that sit there and know the signs are there. You know, but y'all yeah, been together for so long, but but you ain't met the mama. You ain't met the family. You know what I'm saying? It's a certain situations where you can't even go over to the house and just, it's just, just egging you on, but give you some bum ass dick. And then you just, oh, oh Lord. Yeah. He's just amazing. He's, I love him. I don't care. I don't care. It's just, he's just, he just being protective of me. No, nah, baby, you ain't it. You ain't it. So we're going to get into that people. I know y'all in the chat. And we also, we're going to open it up um, when we're, you know, we'll let you know when we're going to open up the stream to let y'all come on and let us know. Just put your hand in the chat like, I got something to say. Let us right. know. We'll open it up for, you know, and everything. So, scallywags. <laughs> it said, topic should be pretty women setting guys up to get killed and rob shit crazy. Hey, we can write mm. that, you know, that, that that's, ooh, set ups. And he just wanted the booty, Yeah. Yeah, what's up, Just K Styles? How you doing? Hey, there's a whole uh, Lil Wayne song on that whole topic right there. <laughs> but yeah, that's the cover Mona topic. Lisa? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, Lord, Lord. but he just <laughs> wanted <laughs> the booty. <laughs> exactly, and he got caught up because of it. Mm hmm. Definitely. So, yeah, that's what we're talking about today. So, I definitely want y'all to chime into this one. But let's go into little bit of the red flags well no first we're gonna go into our opinion about it and then we'll get into the red flags and everything okay. else um so you know how do you feel nikki like um you know it's just it's obvious you know if you're questioning yourself at this point and let's say he's calling you at a certain hour or um, Y'all not spending a lot of time with each other. We're going to get into the red flags a little bit, but come on, ladies. There's no, no way in the world you do not have, like, we feel things. I know I feel energies. I I feel when something's off. If I can't hit you up right then and there or FaceTime you at any time or anything and you, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, nah, bruh you got going on not saying see, I'm... you know you know what the problem is the problem is and i saw a friend of mine post something i was just scrolling earlier today and i was like dang that's perfect for the show tonight it said and i wrote this shit down yes i sure did it said <laughs> don't be so in love with the possibility that you ignore the reality and that's what i feel is going on with this particular situation that we're discussing tonight like you, you too busy wrapped up in what's possible and what you want to happen. Mm -hmm. You're totally ignoring what's really going on. And what's really going on is boo boo. He's just not that into you because if you ain't, it's been years, y'all been together for years and you haven't met his family. He don't want you to meet his family. Mm-hmm. If you can't go over to the place where he lives, mm -hmm. he don't want you there. No. I don't care if you have a baby together or not. You have, And the, the baby, again, that is not a reason to stay with somebody. Just because you oh, had a baby no, with somebody does not, not mean that is the man for you and that y'all's relationship is going to flourish because all of a sudden there's a baby involved. 
no, honey, if he wasn't into you before that baby, he's not going to be into you after. You know what? And I think some women just want so bad to be in a relationship. Uh-huh. They're so but used to it. They'll for anything. They'll say it for anything. Or, oh, you know, the whole big thing is, yeah, he got some bum ass dick. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's holding you there. And it's like, oh, he blow my back out. I'm just appreciative of that shit. And of course, he buy me a couple of things. And when we do finally hook up, when it's got to be away from where he's living and all that, you know, it's always a situation. However, we get together. It's never. Let me come over to your place. OK, can I come over to your place? And, you know, you can I mean, go to a cookout. Old? Why can't I be there? Yeah. How old are you to where dick is the only prerequisite? That it's cool as as long as he dicks me down good, I'm I'm good. Like wh- so, he doesn't communicate with you. He doesn't talk to you. You don't go out in public together. Like I'm confused. How old are you to where dick is all that you need? Mm-hmm. And obviously, obviously, it's not if these questions are being asked. Because, honey, <laughs> no, it no. You got to have way more than just good dick. And that's who we talking about, Cardi and Walker. Um, females that know niggas are cheating. They know it and still down for them. But you you mad. You mad at the, at the girls that he's fucking instead of being mad at him. Mm-hmm. Ooh, now, I like this, John. A man, a men man, can ooh. smell. <laughs> that's, that's a hard word. Men can mm. smell desperation. Ooh, oh, yeah. Wow. Some people are opportunists, so it's like I like what she's doing for me, I like what she's giving to me, and I can just act like you know, I can be a little part time to her because she's gonna always be there. You just hanging on, like I can say anything, do anything, show my face every now and then, and it's all good, you know what I'm saying? So, um, um, so I just you know, I just don't know, it's just women, y'all have to learn this. You know, so um, let's go ahead and get into some warning signs of it, of what's going on. I did my research. I didn't know if you put some down, Nikki. For like, kind of just I did some signs of red flags and things that kind of hints to kind of oh, yeah. teach, I, I teach guys. Okay, okay. Let me go ahead and pull what I have out as well. But we're gonna get into those red flags. It's obvious, but you just choose to not realize it. You just want to, you know, it's just, oh, but you know what? I'm not going to lie. I was like that. I told you when I was younger and, Mm -hmm. you know, first real relationship straight out of high school, all the signs were there. She was texting. Every time I'll bring up the situation, it was a fence mechanism. I pick up a phone. I told you, I went outside one day. I picked up the phone. Phone number all saved up in the phone. I'm seeing who you are. Hello. How you doing? (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) Like, I'm looking at exactly who it is. Now, I'm mm-hmm. outside because I'm pregnant and up, upset about something. Because it's like, you ain't mm-hmm. even giving me the attention of the day. So, I'm going to go outside. But she decides she wanted to call her cousin. Because they hooked up some kind of way through the cousin that he was friends with. They ended up mm-hmm. playing games. He come outside. What's going on? You you being disrespectful? Like, who the fuck is she? And she didn't say anything. I didn't say a word to her. She didn't say a word to me. I'm just like, hello. I see who it is. Hello. Are you there? Okay, whatever. Click. What? Are, what's going on? I heard, you know, like, hmm. But, oh, I want to be together for the kids and la, la, la. I was that. I was that person. So it's like, I ain't going to talk about you and not talk about myself. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what we don't do on Lush Exchange. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to talk That's about our part. faults. Faults and everything like that. Because, look, ain't nothing perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. People... You got to live and learn. You got to grow. And I was still young then. So I didn't know no better or nothing like that. I just knew I just wanted my family to be together. It's like, I don't want to be the single mama, you know, first mm-hmm. baby daddy situation. So I was just like, let me, I, I, until I get it proven to me, I don't know. I, I'm speculating, but, mm, mm, but the signs were there. So it took me a good little minute to finally be embarrassed at this point till mm-hmm. I had enough, like, Okay, you know what? Yeah, like I knew I was messed up when I had I took my fingernails and dug the sh- out of this man. Like I found some out and 
something I, you know, I was just like, I was ready to, yeah, you know, my little Arr! sound, but <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to kill this son of a, so mm. thank God it was just nails in his skin, you know right. what I'm saying, but Lord have mercy, I just reacted instantly when I found out that stuff, and I was totally embarrassed, I was embarrassed at this point, it was like, you know, you got the nerve to take this person down to your people and they introduce, she's introduced to them as your lady friend. You know what I'm saying? But the situation is they're thinking, aren't y'all two together? What's who right. is this person coming down? And they question the situation was like, how long y'all been together? The math added up to being when it was my first daughter's when I was pregnant with her. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's the situation I had to go through. You know, embarrassment. Embarrassment. So I'm saying, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not knocking nobody that, you know, going through this situation, but you got to get tired. You have to be tired of that situation. Let's go ahead and get mm -hmm. some of these comments, people, because I know y'all in here there going was crazy. There one. Hold on. John, this one. There are a number of sisters that are in it just for the dick at a more advanced age. Okay, that's different from being dignified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that is that lady's choice she is choosing to only fool with you because all you can do for her is bring her that good d there's a difference between that and being dignitized to the point to where all you're getting is dick but you're grateful for that and that's why you keep fooling with him even though you really want more but he's not going to give you that so you're just going to settle for the d so john i i i, I totally understand that there's just mm -hmm. a difference between that and what we're talking about. Um, Virgo Queen, I got ADD when it comes to BS. I'm the queen of punking up the deuces. If I feel a brother don't want to be bothered, he will be looking for me in the daylight with a flashlight. I know that's right. Guess what, honey? Because I'm single again, baby. So I'm just <laughs> like you now. Look, I said I was younger when that was happening. So I right. don't play around now. I'm a little too old to be... You know, I might try every, I mean, no, because it's like, I'm not going to give up on something first. Now, this situation, it wasn't like infidelity and like that, but mm -hmm. other things that just wasn't happening, wasn't happening. Right. But after a while, I got tired of it. It's like, okay, I can do bad by myself. So th that's okay. my situation. So that's been, yeah, that's really fucked up. Yeah, I know, Brian. What's up, Ant? Hey, Ant. Um, uh, Ant. Man, he's been designing some things, creating some stuff in the background for us. We're hoping we can get some things going pretty oh. soon. We're not announcing what yeah. it is yet, but yeah. I'm excited about it. I've been liking what's going on so far, so we're going to see how that goes, people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, who wants uh, us to open up the stream? Who got something to say on this? Go ahead, Nikki. I want to cut you off. For real. I was just going to highlight a, a comment. Red flags be the reason why the relationship ends, but we're in so much denial. In the beginning, that we let it slide. Mm -hmm. No, we got to do better. Been there, done it. You live and you learn. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. So some red flags that I noted myself were when their actions never match their words. Mm -hmm. You have to pick and choose. Okay, do I believe what he's saying or do I believe what he's showing me? Which one should I go with? I'm a firm believer of your words and your actions both need to match. I shouldn't have to pick and choose which one to believe. That's just me. Um, also, they don't make you a priority, ever. And then my last one was, they always have an excuse for why they're lacking in whatever it is they're lacking. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. Or, oh, it's yeah, like, it's an oh, excuse. Mm -hmm. it's, excuses. No, if yeah. he cares, guess what he'll do? He'll fucking change that behavior if he cares. Oh, if yeah. he don't care, Absolutely. then he's not changing, and you need to make a conscious decision to go seek better, or just be by yourself. Shit. <laughs> sometimes that's the best, too. Self-reflection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I skipped the um the meaning behind the saying, though, and then I'm going to get into what I also added to it as well. Um, Pretty much, he's just not that into you is, it doesn't mean he's into you. It means he prefers having you around than be lonely. Don't mm -hmm. be flattered when he tells you he misses you because he only misses you because he has chosen not to be with you every day. It's a convenience for him. So chosen that that word right damn there. Mm -hmm. Chosen. Mm. So it's just like and then you know he's gonna pick up that phone. It's like okay, baby, come on over. Oh, okay. Wherever wherever mm -hmm. he was doing his business at, 
now he coming over there. He bored a little bit. Let me go ahead and, mm-hmm. you know, butter her up a little bit and go ahead and get in what I can get in and go ahead and bounce out. And she's going to mm-hmm. always be there. That's my convenience. Because you're going to always answer that phone. You're going to always open that door. You're going to always make sure I'm taking, especially, don't get me started. you doing <laughs> wifely duties as well. Let me add that. You cooking, you catering, you doing all this shit. And he's part time. Mm-hmm. Really? Hey, how you doing? But hey, and Mike. he's, he's part time. Really? You doing all this stuff for these many years. And so I'm going to add to what I see as red flags. Um, of course, he doesn't really act interested in your life. So he doesn't ask about your life, like what's going on with it. It's just like, hey, baby, what's up? We're going you know, to do this. What time are we going to get together? It's more about that. Um, he only mm-hmm. texts after midnight, so it's more of a like, hey, you know, big head, what's going on? What you doing? Um, no. Of course, he flakes or plan um, or plans or cancels them all together. So it's like, you know, hey, I just, you know, I just wanted you to meet my friends and stuff like that. Well, you know, but I got to work and stuff. I got shit going on. I can't be there. And it's always the excuse. Oh, I don't, I don't really like to be around folks like that. It's always an excuse. And folks questioning, are you even in a relationship? You right. know. Um, of course, he repeats the same story, so it's like it's rehearsed. So it's like, you know, he already got it planned how he gonna, you know, lie to you. And that's just what he gives you when you ask him certain things. He doesn't face you. He's more, you know, his body language is he's kind of like, you know, oh, you know, body just, language you know, not looking lot. you in the eye and just like, yeah, you know, I'm going to play the video game. Yeah, girl. So, mm-hmm. I'll, you know, <laughs> so you not. <laughs> well, thank you, Carter. Thank you, Carter. Um, as well as, um, and basically that's pretty much what I found as well. So I was trying to see if there's anything else you didn't mention, but basically it's Mm -hmm. all there. It's the body language. You know, he's just really not available to you like you want him to be. Or like we said earlier, you can't even, there's some situations where y'all can't even just meet up on a fly. It's like, you got to call me before you come type of situation. Why? Mm Mm-hmm. You know what's going on? If, with I, that? if I fool with you like that, it, it's serious, number one. But you don't need to tell me or warn me that you're coming. Just come. If I fool with you like that, that's a difference. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's a difference but, now. But yeah. if I fuck, I'm fucking with you for that many years, though. I should have some type of, you know, come on now. That's too many years to be going by where it's still like a, yeah, you know, you got to uh, let me know when you're going to show up type of situation. Or, you know, I got this situation where I'm living with somebody and um, um we ain't, you know, we ain't together like that. But, you know, she she real particular about company and stuff. And it used to be where he had his own little spot, whatever he fell off on sometimes. You now he got to live with somebody. Oh, you can't come over there. You can't, you know, you've been chilling with him before that, but you can't come over there. But why are you living with the woman and I'm your woman and I'm not living with you? I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Like, why did you make the choice mm. to move in with another mm. woman that's not me if I'm your woman and your baby mama? Like. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm if saying. If I saw that, like, I, that would have told me everything I need to know. Mm. Instead mm. of getting a place with you, who he has a child with, and y'all are supposed to be in a relationship, but he instead chooses to move in with a roommate, and don't worry, because it ain't like that, but you can't come over. Well, that should tell you everything right there. That's mm-hmm. like the biggest red flag possible. Out of all the red flags, that one is like, Smacking you in the face. 